The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Targa V19 walkthrough by Tracker. I'll put it on a full performance evaluation as well, but let's start by looking at the features. Now, this boat was launched in conjunction with Tracker's 40th anniversary, so this anniversary edition also features some key elements such as a pair of Lowrance Elite 7 fish finders, an upgraded trolling motor, networking between the trolling motor and the fish finder, and some key upgrades to the trailer. The trolling motor is an 80 pound thrust motor guide. The foot control gets stored under a hatch at the bow. Look at this cap rail, 10 inches wide with a non skid surface, flip up cleat, VersaTrack accessory channel. There's certainly no shortage of storage in this bow area. Cargo netting on the side, four storage compartments in the deck. The aft two can be optioned out as cooler storage, and then there's tackle box storage to the front of both consoles. In the center of the deck is a pedestal base that can accommodate one of the three pedestal seats that can be moved into six different locations. And because this has a nod towards family comfort, we can add cushioned seat bases and then these pads become the seat backs. At the walkthrough, there's rod storage that's better designed to accommodate spinning rods. It goes forward eight feet. The cover reinforced so that we can walk on it. Closed, it's lockable. The cockpit has four pedestal seats with three of them being movable to the two casting decks. They all feature high seat backs that wrap around and fold on pinchless hinges. They also swivel and the helm seat slides fore and aft. At the port side console, there's lockable glove storage, storage alongside with an accessory plug. Down below, there's an angled footrest with even more storage, drink holder, and a speaker. At this point, the cap rails increase to 13 inches wide, still with the flip-up cleats and non-skid padding. Notice the bolsters are padded on the side, and for safety, we come up 26 inches. At the forward end of the cockpit is index storage. There's additional rod storage under the cap rail. Lockable storage is under the gunnel. This aft casting deck is elevated 15 inches. At the front side, a single live well going all the way across 48 gallons with dividers. It's aerated with a removable bait bucket to the side. To the back side of the casting deck, starboard side has the engine crank battery and the oil reservoir. The port side has the two trolling motor batteries. With everything closed, we can see the pedestal base for the removable chair and there's a receptacle for the ski tow pylon, again with a nod towards family entertainment. I love that there are push button courtesy lights all around. The boat can be powered with engines up to 225 horsepower. Here our test boat has the Mercury 225 Pro XS. At the helm, love the simplicity of the gauges. Lowrance fish finder off to the side, rocker switches all grouped properly, and a holder for the cell phone. To the left hand side, stereo with Bluetooth connectivity and hydraulic Sea Star steering is connected to a tilt base. Down below, angled footrest with storage behind. And I do like how the horn button is separated and easy to find. Now let's get her out on the water and see how she performs. The Tracker Targa V19 WT has a length overall of 19 feet 10 inches and a beam of 8 feet 6 inches. With an empty weight of 4,019 pounds, three quarters fuel, and two people on board, we had an estimated test weight of 4,651 pounds. With a 225 horsepower Mercury Pro XS turning a 19 pitch Tempest Plus propeller, we reached our top speed of 53.5 miles per hour at 5,600 RPM. Best cruise was reached at 3,000 RPM and 25 miles per hour. It was at that speed that the 5.1 gallon per hour fuel burn translated into 5 miles per gallon in a range of 209 statute miles, all while still holding back a 10% reserve of the boat's 47 gallon total fuel capacity. Upon accelerating, we reached planing speed in 2.6 seconds, hit 20 miles per hour in 4.7 and 30 came and went in 8.2 seconds. Touching on ergonomics, I found myself using the center rod locker to brace myself into position as my short legs had the seat too close to the wheel to use the footrest, and it was comfortable doing this. Plus, I'd rather see the seat controls move to the sides. Crossing wakes shows a smooth transition across and a clean re-entry with the deep V-hull throwing water well to the sides and down low for a dry ride. And she showed no pounding whatsoever. She has sporty handling so I could easily see skiing or tubing behind this boat in addition to her primary mission of fishing. All in all, an excellent handling boat. Great handling, nice comfort features, and a nod towards family entertainment. It all comes together with the Targa V19 from Tracker. And that's my full features inspection and performance evaluation. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.